Eric and Joan Johnson, and their dog Bodie enjoy the comforts of a home they built themselves on Gabriola Island. Eric is a trim carpenter by trade, but that's not his only calling. Just as they were finishing building their home, his other passion took over. Long and graceful bird, well, uh, your lips have known me better. Eric still wanted to pursue his music, which was always, you know, was half building, half music all our lives together, really, you know. And so I think initially we thought, yeah, we would make a go of it here. But then the music started to rear its head again. Don't ever love that river. We thought, let's make a jump of faith, leap of faith, and go down to Nashville and just see what that brings. Near for the Cajun moon. It was great, very welcoming. It's a, you know, you're running up against the best musicians in the world, as far as I'm concerned. It's a nice community, it's fairly cheap to live, and it, everybody's from somewhere else pretty well. There's very few Tennesseans in Nashville. It's mostly people from, uh, at least in the music community, it's people from all over the world. Collaborating with other songwriters was something Eric valued most about the experience. I wrote this song with uh, 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 Wayne Carson. Wayne Carson wrote, uh, You were always on my mind. And the letter, give me a ticket for an airplane, ain't got time to take a fast train. Wayne's still kicking, so dedicated to Wayne Carson. Law says the water gate, take me back. Something like a puppy through the tall, tall weeds. Following what I wanted. I am a big supporter of Eric because I see the talent that lies there. You know, it's not just the music, but the carpentry skills too. I mean, we built a phenomenal house down there and he worked on some amazing projects. He worked on the governor's residence in Nashville. He worked on Vice President Al Gore's house. I'm on a comeback trail. Eric and Joan both worked jobs while he pursued a career in music. While he did perform, he spent much of his time focusing on writing songs he hoped might catch the interest of some big artists. Hopefully that's the people who will do it, you know, but you just never know. It's weird what artists will pick and, and things, are, things are changing. Eric witnessed many changes in the industry over the years they spent in Nashville. When we moved to Nashville, you made a cassette tape and then you tried desperately to hustle it to the song, to the producers and the, uh, the labels. Things get pitched differently to the big artists now, now with the internet and SoundCloud and various ways that you, you transmit, you know, your material. The internet may have helped musicians in terms of connecting with people, but it's had a negative impact on sales. Downloading for free. The person that wrote the song gets absolutely no money. The number of acts has shrunk considerably. So there's not so much of a market to pitch to. The changing industry won't stop Eric. His passion for music isn't about money. I think most people that write songs don't do it for the money. That's kind of the wrong way to come at it. But it would be nice to get paid. And I have been paid you know, for, for material uh, that I've written and has been on the you know, television or radio or, or whatever. And that's a real good feeling, but I'd like to maybe you know, play out a bit more. After years in Nashville, they decided it was time to return to their home on Gabriola Island. We had left this place um, a, basically abandoned uh, for 15 years, um, and we were afraid that it was going to disappear into the, into the dirt if we didn't get back fairly soon. When we first decided to go, I thought, oh, we'll be there for a year. I fell in love with it, and it was really hard to leave. You know, it's pretty, but it's not Gabriola Island. And uh, so we thought we'd come back here and, and uh, Our little town. see if we couldn't use what we had learned in Nashville here, because it all applies. I mean, it's all, all just music. Eric is still writing new songs, but says he's enjoying the live performance side of things even more. He's immersed himself back into the local music scene, but still has every intention of pitching songs to Nashville. On Gabriel Island, I'm Kelly Robinson.